Hi everyone! In today's video, we'll explain the differences between simple chargers and smart chargers for rechargeable nickel metal hydride and NICAD AA and AAA batteries. If you're deciding on a new charger for your batteries, stay tuned to find out the pros and cons and differences between these two common charger options. Let's get into it. Both simple and smart chargers can look the same from the outside and be difficult to differentiate at first. Simple chargers, sometimes known as dumb chargers, because they will continue to charge batteries until its built-in timer runs out or you manually stop them by either taking out the batteries or turning off the charger. Simple chargers often have an LED indicator. Smart chargers are usually called smart, intelligent, universal, or sometimes called fast chargers because they have an automatic shutoff feature that uses negative delta V detection to stop the charging when the batteries are full. Smart chargers often have an LCD screen, but sometimes also have an LED light like simple chargers. To clearly identify simple chargers from smart chargers, we'll need to take a close look at their specifications. The first specification to look at is the charge current. Simple chargers tend to have a much slower charge current than smart chargers. For example, this TN145 simple charger has an average charge current of 100 milliamp for AAA and 250 milliamp for AA batteries. This TN486U smart charger, on the other hand, has a charge current of 600 milliamp for AA's, C's, D's, and 300 milliamp for AAA's. That's two to three times higher than the simple charger. And because the higher charge current, the faster the battery will be fully charged. It'll take longer to recharge the battery on a simple charger compared to a smart charger. Sometimes you'll see simple chargers called slow chargers for this reason. Let's use these AA's as an example. Their battery level currently is at 0%. The simple charger TN145 will take about 10 hours to recharge its full. On the other hand, the TN486U will only take about 4 to 5 hours to recharge it to full, which is twice as fast as the simple charger. If you want to know how to calculate the charge time, check out the video linked here. Another difference between simple and smart chargers is their charging algorithm. You might not be able to find this information in the specifications or manual, but it's good to know how they work. Tenergy simple chargers monitor the battery's voltage and reduces the charge current as the voltage rises. However, it cannot detect if the batteries are fully charged, so it only shuts off charging based on a set timer. Other brand simple chargers may have different charging algorithms but are generally timer based as well. For example, this TN145 here has a 10 hours timer control. The shutoff timer starts counting when the charger is connected to a power source and as the battery's voltage increases, the charger reduces the current. Even when the battery is fully charged, the charger will still continue to apply a small amount of current until the timer runs out to cut off the power. Even though the charging rate when the batteries are fully charged is low, we recommend charging the batteries that are mostly empty instead of those that are partially drained to avoid overcharging. A smart charger monitors the batteries constantly and automatically detects when the batteries are fully charged using negative delta V and switches from a faster charge rate to a trickle charge to avoid overcharging, which is a more advanced feature. Also, the charger will show full if it has an LCD screen to let you know the batteries are done charging. It's a good practice to take the batteries out of the charger when they are fully charged and to not keep them charging overnight. It's also worth mentioning that smart chargers won't charge batteries that are overdrained or one severely under voltage below one volt, since that normally indicates the batteries are defective. What are overdrained or overdischarged batteries and how do you get charging errors? This occurs when users leave battery in devices for too long or long periods of time and the battery power gets too low or empty. Some devices will continue to draw power from batteries and overdrain them. This reduces the battery's voltage below 0.9 volts, which is a safe voltage for any empty battery. A smart charger will get an initial voltage reading before it starts charging. And if it's too far below 0.9 volts, it may not work and it will register as a bad battery or display an error message. It's possible that the battery is too overdrained or permanently damaged, but you can try inserting it into a simple charger to test if that's the case. Because a simple charger will not check for a minimum load voltage and just charges the battery. In some cases, if the overdrained batteries aren't too far gone, the simple charger can bring the voltage back up to 1 volt and allow users to move these over to their smart fast charger for charging if they want to. Also note that recovering overdrained batteries does not make a bad battery brand new. There may have been long-term damage to the batteries and this method is just a way to help extend the battery's life just a little bit more. But in some cases, the battery can be compromised. Now that we know the differences between a simple charger and a smart charger, let's decide which one is better for usage. If pricing is one of your largest concerns, then a simple charger would be a good option since it usually costs less than a smart charger. It takes longer to charge due to the slow charge current, but it also puts less stress on the battery. And you can also recharge low voltage or overdrain batteries if it's not permanently damaged yet. Otherwise, we recommend buying a smart charger instead. Generally, it recharges two to five times faster than a simple charger. It also keeps tracks of the battery's voltage and shuts off the power when the battery is fully charged to avoid overcharging. 
In addition, newer smart chargers come with a micro USB or USB-C port instead of a power adapter, so you can easily recharge your batteries with your phone's charging cable or USB slots on your computer. That's it for today's video. Which charger do you have or prefer to use? A simple charger or a smart one? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for future content related to batteries. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.